Bob Vintage Lambo. Let's take a look at the upright on early cars, whether it's 350, Mira, Espada, Eslero, 400, 2 plus 2. It takes this upright and the same system on here. We have these cylindrical bushings that are uh, coated on the inside. So we have this also like Teflon coating here. This piece fits on this like this, all right? There's a dowel pin to keep this from spinning. We have a, a, a bushing in here uh, that I'm making it a high quality uh, bronze bushing like you would find in an engine. Um, I don't want any problems. This is a weak link on them, so extra care has to be put into apply to make this good. But the other situation on these is that this was never a metric part. They procured these. They're not metric. They make up for it by this uh, inner uh, bushing, but not quite. It still not, doesn't fit this properly. You need to make one that's going to fit it properly, stay put. And then this should have a dowel pin that protrudes. So when this goes on, it doesn't want to walk. It doesn't want to wiggle. Well, here we have, we have a broken one right here. This fits right on here. You do not grease it and it rides on Teflon. So this is polished. Uh, actually, I, I have these uh, surface ground and then I polish them after, after the plating. I go ahead again and polish it once more. Okay, so what problems do we have? All right, so the metric pin is a little too small for this hole. So what we need to do, because you can see right off the bat, this one's broken. Now let's take a look at the other side. Oh, maybe I can zoom in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me do that. Okay, so can you see this is oblong because the dowel had been push to the side and so it's obviously not too good now you see this surface here you see this thing's been spinning around and obviously dirt has gotten in here and it's kind of messed up the surface here this isn't as critical we want it flat but it's not as critical as far as it being perfect because this is just going to be sitting right on top of it you you just want everything flat but as far as any nicks and whatnot, it's not, it's not a big deal. But the problem is, is that now this is distorted. Now, it's incorrect for the proper alignment and stability of this. So we're going to make that right because now we're going to do a standard dowel pin that fits this hole. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this set up. Now, are we going to repair this? No. We're gonna flip it around. We'll just do like a 180. We'll have this all stabilized out. And then we're going to drill in and then put in a proper dowel pin. And that dowel pin is gonna be completely flat across the top. Normally dowel pins are kind of, uh, they, they have a, like a, a, a bit of a, a curvature on it so it's easier to put in. but what we want, we want it flat across because we want to get the maximum amount of strength on this. So that's what we're going to do on this. Uh, it's just a situation that that's just the way it was. What materials were available at the time, that's how it goes. And so now we're just going to try and get this to be as good as we can. Okay, sorry about that crazy explanation. I'll see you on the next one.